hello, and welcome back to Flea Tip of the Week. So, as you can tell, I'm in yet another room in my house. This is always what happens when you actually have family members in the same building as you. Always better to share the common spaces rather than just take an overall monopoly. This week will be our first time talking about one of my favorite things in the world. All right, let's see what we got in store today. If you find yourself having to exhale between phrases or having extraneous noise when playing the piccolo, imagine taking piccolo breaths. You don't need as much air on the piccolo as you do for the flute, and so you shouldn't take your breaths the same way. Now I'm not saying don't take full breaths, I'm not saying don't breathe properly, but you do need a different amount to be able to get the exact sound and control of phrases that you need to play on the piccolo. Very often when people play the piccolo, they find themselves having to exhale and get rid of extra stale air that they have still in their lungs. Very similar to if you have an oboist having to breathe out before continuing the phrase. This can be stopped by making sure that the amount of air you take is the right amount in comparison to what you're going to be playing next, and also the size of the instrument and the amount of air it can take. For instance, if you're about to play something low and quiet on the piccolo, you can very easily get the kind of whistle tones and extraneous sound that we all learn to try to avoid. For instance, Even a short phrase like that, it was a little bit difficult to control my sound in the lower register because I was really focused on not using all of my air and making it too loud. Let's try it with a piccolo breath. This I imagine to be around two thirds of the air you would use for the flute. See, much easier to control having no whistle tones around the core of the sound, meanwhile still having enough air to get to the end of the phrase. Another thing that can be difficult to control when playing the piccolo and having too much air is loud passages or fast passages where you have lots of staccatos. I'll do just a quick scale in thirds to demonstrate this. Okay, so I was able to get through it with a relatively good sound, I had the dynamics, and I had the energy there, but a lot of the time of that was spent trying to make sure I didn't let go of all of the air at once. Now I'm going to try thinking of it in terms of piccolo breath. There, it was a lot clearer. I didn't feel like I was straining to get to the end of the phrase, but it was also not the kind of strain where I knew I had to get rid of more air, but I was still feeling very, very comfortable with the amount that I had left. Now let's just think about the extraneous noise problem. When you're practicing piccolo and listening to your sound, it can often be a little bit difficult to hear the quality of the sound and hear if you have too much extra air going on, especially if we're playing in the high register. Our ears will get tense, perhaps, listening to what we're playing, and so it'll be difficult to really hear the quality of our sound. Let's take the low register. We're going to hold just a really nice low D, and I'm going to take a long flute breath and try to hold it at, say, a forte dynamic. sound and I had loads of air but even at the end of that I still felt like I needed to exhale to get the rest of it out. Let's try now with a piccolo sized breath. There I felt a lot more in control. My body wasn't tense because I was trying to pack too much into my lungs. I didn't feel like I had stale air left over when I was finished the note. And also I felt a lot more confident that it was going to stay in the low register and not suddenly jump up the octave. Those are just some examples of how 
Managing the size of your breath in comparison to the instrument you're playing, in this case the piccolo, will help with the quality of the sound, how you get to the end of the phrase, but also just listening and knowing that you don't have the tension in your sound because you have the tension in trying to hold too much air that you just can't get rid of. So again, that tip was if you find yourself exhaling between phrases or having a lot of extraneous sound when playing the piccolo, try taking smaller breaths. Take piccolo breaths. I hope you found this week's tip helpful. God, every week is harder to say week's tip, week's tip. Try saying that five times. Anyway. If you have any other questions about breathing in relation to the piccolo, do put it in the comments section. I think it's really important for every flutist to be comfortable in playing the piccolo, and a lot of the problem with it can very easily be translated to how we are taking our breaths and the way that that makes us feel while we're playing. Can you imagine everyone felt a lot more relaxed when playing the piccolo? Can you imagine such a world? Remember to flute happy, piccolo happy, and I will see you next week. Let's see how the animals of the house are doing. There's one. Fluffy ducky. Let's see where Squidget is. There you are. Hi, puppy.